so your right palm on your left and make it straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture and bring your attention to your body and observe your whole body as one and scan head to toes yourself and say swapateva o oh, be well and happy three times may i be well and happy o oh, swapateva also think for a moment the, we gather here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique all the buddhas all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom so we also gather here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting may my body become more comfortable may my breath be more smooth may no difficulties come to me may all the success come to me also think for a moment this is the last moment i spend in this very lifetime and detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts just try to remain in the present moment observing your inhalation and exhalation so in the beginning bring your attention to your lower part of the body and observe very carefully and recognize tightness heat weight heaviness see is there any sensation that you can recognize the contact with the cushion or the chair just observe yourself don't try to change anything don't try to have any wish yourself to change don't judge yourself just recognize bring your attention to your lower back see is there any pain or sensation heat tightness heaviness and upper back and observe your shoulders arms elbow forearms palms fingers finger tips and recognize is there any sensation feelings heat tightness heaviness any pain in your head and neck area face when there is no sensation there is no body in your mind and there is no contact there is no feelings and your chest and abdominal areas and now observe your whole body 
head to toes. Your whole body as one. And recognize, is there any sensation, feelings, heat, tightness, heaviness, weight, what you can feel. Don't try to make anything happen. Just recognize, observe and recognize. And now head to toes, observe your whole body and see is there any one place that you feel more sensation, more pain, more tightness, heaviness. And get that place and start to observe. Bring your attention to that place and recognize the place. Try to locate it. Don't try to change or don't try to have any wish out of it. Don't judge it, just observe. Bring your attention to your whole body again and observe it to toes. See, is there any other place that you feel more tightness, heaviness, pain, any sensation? Observe and recognize. You no need to personalize it. Recognize without any thought. Again, observe your whole body head to toes and find another place. The pain or the sensation arise according to necessary conditions in that very moment. And observe deeply the pain. It is an effect that you get out of the cause. When you are able to see the cause anymore, you don't take this pain as pain. Heatness at heatness. Tightness as tightness.
Now bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. And see is there in, that you can feel the sensation arising in front of your nose and your upper lip following your inhalation exhalation. Be sharp, be very clear and at the same time calm down, relax, be soft. Let everything to settle down to its own places. See how the inhalation exhalation happen in arising, exist and disappearing itself. Follow the entire breath body, arising, exist and disappearing from beginning to end, entire continuation. See the impermanent of the moment. See the impermanent of the inhalation, exhalation. Just be with the moment. Bring your attention to your body. Experience the peace and calmness, tranquility state yourself. Look how comfortable your body, how peaceful your body, mind, mind.
when you stop the journey, there is no, no journey to go. So have a thought to yourself to share your heart with others. In this very moment, there are a lot of people struggling with their own life, fighting with death. They have fear, anxiety, depression. They go through hopelessness, helplessness, loneliness. And they're struggling with the disease or the, the illness discomfort appreciate yourself you have this moment and you are blessed and as paying your gratitude to this moment share your heart with others may they come out of that disease anxiety depression may they come out of that struggle may they come out of that hopelessness helplessness loneliness May they have the strength and courage and wisdom to stand themselves and go through the situation and find the tranquility state or the freedom themselves. Not only them, share your heart with your loved ones, your brother, husband, wife, children, friends and families, brothers, sisters, parents, your loved ones all your family members and with your neighbors, your village people, your city, your state, around your country and the people in this world, not only that as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars, let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings be well and happy. So with that intention mentally, repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Visualize yourself and send it as a light forward. To your backside. To your left side. and to your right side. Downward and upward. To all six directions at once. Like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy around it without any limitation it without any 
resistance, without any judgment, without any limitation. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. So, dear Dhamma friends, you always have to remember that uh, as a human being, the moment we experience and any time can change. So, it, it takes only one second to change your whole life up and down. And, uh, but at the same time, it is take only one time, one moment, one is one single moment to change your entire life from ordinary level to, to enlightenment. The same energy, the same thing, that same amount of time, it is just not only for that bad things, to happen the bad things, it takes a second moment. To happen good things, it doesn't take a different time period. The same kind of way, the same behavior happening to, to both ways. The darkness, the light, the both they have the same kind of rhythm. And, but we sometimes don't understand it. So then yourself in day-to-day -day life, whatever the, the moment you have, you always have a choice. So remember to that, make that choice more profitable to yourself. Why? Because the whatever the energy you use with the bodily, verbally or mentally action, the same way, the same thing, same energy you can use to, to make whatever the difference. So as example, so whatever the time period that you used to be unhappy and same kind of energy, same kind of strength and the same kind of thoughts you can transfer to become happy. And at the same way that whatever the words that you used to other people to blame and the same kind of uh, words that you can transform to to say something good for other, the same energy and the same time period, the same kind of uh, uh, the, the moment you need, you can use it for. So as example, you take your cell phone, it has a very limited numbers and the very limited symbols. To send a text message to someone, you use the that the same uh, symbols and using different different ways and at the same way using the same uh, symbols you can make a nice message so but it is your choice 
that remember this out this outside world it never going to change for you and it never going to make a good environment for you and tell thinking oh this for, for this person it should happen this way it should happen that way like that it always you are the one who have strength and power to to change it and yourself it is you are the one who have strength and you are the one who have responsibility to change it no one going to change it but how conscious you are that how much you need in day to day life for yourself to to make a change don't wait till other person make that change don't give that responsibility to other person oh you should do oh he should do or oh, she should do this no you are the one who have that responsibility so then remember it is that is the best that you can do to yourself and to get hurt yourself and then and then and at the same way to be happy yourself you use the same strength you use the same abilities you use the same mind you use the same body so why then you use that same thing and make it more up unprofitable you you get the money the whatever the in a, if i use uh, any uh, the, the physical example you know use the money 100 dollar bill it doesn't have any power itself but you are the one who can spend that 100 dollars and to do something for you and you can buy vegetables you can buy meat or you can buy a gift or you can buy poison it is up to you but you cannot blame to that 100 dollar bill or you cannot blame to market so then yourself look in day to day life with this two hands two legs with your body mind so what you produce what you try to bring out of it so you cannot blame to the world so then in day to day life remember it is your responsibility take that responsibility to yourself as a human being when the person able to take that responsibility and stand themselves and start to work themselves and then your life going to become more comfortable and your life going to become more successful for, successful for you and at the same time it become more profitable to you and for other people so there was a father and he had a son this son didn't learn anything and he spent his time period in playing with uh, other children and uh, somehow he when he became young he didn't have, know any skills and uh, he was uh, sometimes get so mad and angry person and he didn't understand the value of life and always spending 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 so the father got old and he was almost died and one day father called his son and told son now i am getting old any time i will die so there is nothing here i can give it to you but there is something you no know, uh, there is something treasure that i belong to me i hide in a far away in a mountain so this is the map and take it and go there and and so this is the place that all the treasure i hide and take it so the son was so happy and he start to think about the the treasure that all the money that he going to get and he start to dream that all the the joy that he going to get after he get this money and he start his journey you know he start his journey one day pass two day pass on the way he used to stay in places people used to you know uh, give accommodation for him and people used to give food people used to give water and people used to tell the road oh go this way and turn to this and find this way like that and somehow it took uh, you know some times to reach there 
and days, days, and after weeks, you know, after month, he reached to the place, and he found the place, and he start to look for the treasure, thinking, oh, gold or money or jewelry, something he will find. But he couldn't find anything. And he was so disappointed. And he, he thought maybe somebody else took it before he come. And then he start to come way back. Now, no hopes. Now he took his time. And wherever he, you know, spend the night, he start to talk with people. And whoever that help him, he stay with that people few days and start to help for that people. And on the way, he start to enjoy the trees, enjoy the nature, and he start to appreciate that and he start to see the beauty. That to start to open his heart. No, and little by little, and what happened? And he start to be in the moment and start to enjoy the journey. Why now? Because he didn't. He doesn't have any idea to reach. Oh, I want to get this. I want to get this. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Like that. There's nothing to. Now he drop everything. And somehow on the way. And now he start to see how the world happening and how people used to, you know, take care of other people, how people sacrifice their life for other people. And then that opened his heart to think about his father. And then he start to have them uh, feeling, thinking about the, the, the respect towards his father because he understood how much he sacrificed for him. How much his father gave up his all the comfort and everything, everything and spend his whole life to, you know, give this life to this son. So I start to see him this. And he felt so much love with the father and the respect with the father and the he had the, so much gratitude in his heart regarding the father. So somehow he reached to the house and the father almost died. And the, uh, then the father asked, did you find any, anything there? Why you come back so early? So the son told, no, I didn't find any gold or any money, any jewelries. But thank you for the the information that you gave me because this journey helped me to find the life. So the father was so happy. Actually, the, the treasure is our life. The thing is this, when we think about something, when we think about money, when we think about, oh, I'm going to do this, oh, I'm going to go vacation, or I'm going to travel, or I'm going... When you think in that very moment, remember, if you can understand this, catch this and recognize. In this very moment, you are sitting and when you thinking about something, oh, I'm going to go to that place, I'm going to enjoy there, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. In that very moment, you lost the life. You lose. Because in the present moment, when you lose the mind, when you lost the mind, and whatever you put top of that moment, you cannot get it. So that, that is what the sansaric journey, we keep going, keep going, repeating, repeating, repeating. We don't know that. So, that's why moment by moment, that is what happening most of us. That I, I tell you a story, the, the example for this. With this, all these rich people most of time, you know, and when you look at the, even during Buddha's time, most of the millionaires, you know, and even today, there are a lot of people. So they have everything, but when they, when they lost that everything, 
and it opened their mind. And especially during this time period, I heard many stories and people want to practice meditation. And uh, there are a lot of people send message regarding to, they want to practice yoga. You know? And they didn't uh, do anything. And there was uh, one guy ex that explaining that he had the time working, working so hard, working. And now one day he was uh, uh, driving, he heard about somebody talk about yoga and meditation. And he asked me, and he didn't know that he thought this money and this life, these things is the life. And he asked me, what is this, what is this meditation? So it's, it's when you drop this, when you lose the journey, when you lose that whatever the, the you believe or you want to achieve, and that day sometimes you look what is life. So it is with you. It is not somewhere else. So don't look the life outside world. Forgetting this moment, don't try to achieve to something else. So try to be in this very moment. That doesn't mean you don't you should not have a, that the 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 higher purpose in life. You always have to high, have a higher purpose, but remember. The whatever the higher purpose that you have without recognizing this moment, you cannot achieve it. So, you, as example, you want to make a plan for your future. You want to do a business. So, if you don't know how much money you have today and what is the value of the money and how the, the, the market behave, so if you don't have that basic foundation of the understanding how you can think about the business that you're going to open tomorrow and how you go think about that you're going to become successful it's just a dream it's a kind of like a, you start to get into la la land so that's why sometimes people don't understand the reality and they're living in the dream world that's what called magic show we all are most of the time in the magic show and then when the suddenly everything collapses, people get disappointed. But remember, the life is already happening to you. There is nothing else. This inhalation, exhalation, this breathing, this entire body, that what you experience head to toes, you, will, you cannot get it back once it, it starts to disappear from you. So don't forget that yourself to, to be in the moment. And it doesn't matter whatever the journey you go, in that moment, enjoy whatever they are. In that moment, enjoy whatever they are. Even sometimes you have, you have a more miserable moment. And even you have a more hard, difficult moment. There are some people, it is very difficult to deal with that people. Sometimes you have to be with that people. You know? But always remember, being miserable is better than being dead. So you are not dead. So you have to think about it. At least, you know, you have a moment to live that this, whatever the difficulties will pass and just enjoy the moment. So if you are able to understand that is, if you are able to recognize that and if you are able to appreciate the moment, no any demon can play with your head. Because you start to gain the, the life to yourself. You start to gain the wisdom to yourself. So then remember and forgetting the moment, never try to get into something. Always, whatever happened, always remember the very first thing, the building block that you have to have, recognize the moment and establish in the moment. And once you establish in that moment, you will see it will help you to open your heart. It will help you to open this entire the whole body, head to toes, this entire system. And uh, it will help you to open your mind. In that openness, in that clarity, you start to see how things come to be as they are without any thoughts. That is that direct 
experience is your wisdom in that direct experience without thoughts when the day come for you to recognize whatever come to your eye ear nose tongue body mind whatever the perception come to you when the day come for you to understand or recognize it without thoughts by itself happening that is the day your liberation happens so for that stay in the moment and with them the awareness with the mindful be in the moment rather than going to a different world or going to a dream world remember whatever the moment just be settled down and appreciate it and learn to accept in that moment you will say deeply you're going to be transformed so with that i will support i bless upon everyone may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patient courage the understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life may everyone stay healthy and safe may all your guardian angels will receive this merits and increase their longevity and protect you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects सब्बीतुवज्जंतु सब्बरोगो विनाशतु माते भवतंतरायो सुपीदी गायुको भव इत्तावता च अम्मे हि संपदं पुण्य संपदं सब्बे देवानुमोदन्तु सब्ब संपत्ति सिद्धिया सब्बे भूता अनुमोदन्तु सब्ब संपत्ति सिद्धिया सब्बे सत्ता अनुमोदन्तु सब्ब संपत्ति सिद्धिया इदं मे पुण्यकमं आसवक्या वहं होतु सब्ब दुक्का पमुंचतु ये ब्लेसिंग साधु 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 थैंक यू बंदे so if you want what do you have any question you can uh, email uh, you can send the email to this then i can uh, read and then later whenever next session i will give so 10 o'clock i will give the answer next day 10 and uh, evening 8 o'clock we can have i'll give the answer to